And I remember when we first met and you told me the story of how you came up with this formula and just how magical this formula is. And, you know, I'm not exaggerating folks. This is the go-to that I have recommended to patients for almost 30 years is these products. And the first one is the spray. So can, can, you, can you tell us a little about the background on the spray and, and about the biocidin products? Right, so the, it started out with the original biocidin liquid, which is our full strength biocidin for GI. Um, and you can mix this and put it in an eddy pot or nasal wash. And you can basically, you can pretty much apply this to any orifice <laughs> and you know, on the ear, skin and internally. Ear for um, ear infections. Yeah, so, so parents will put like one drop you know, and on the outer ear, um, really helpful. And what the reason that I came up with this formula was I was working in veterinary acupuncture and we were treating these cattle and dogs with these incurable infections that Western medicine didn't have anything for, but these herb formulas seemed to be really making a difference. Meanwhile, fast forwarded to where I worked at a, a Chinese herb company and doctors are calling with patients with opportunistic infections with the same issue that the antibiotics were resistant or they weren't working. And so, we sent some of this herb formula to these doctors to try out and they were getting good results. And then one of those doctors sent it to Great Smokies Diagnostic Labs, which is now Genova Diagnostics. And they run thousands and thousands of comprehensive digestive stool analysis. And they're looking at yeast and bacteria that are showing up in people's guts. And so the owner of the lab calls me up and it was just, it was, you know, it's kind of a scary conversation. This guy's like, I don't know who you are or what this is, but it kills everything. I'm like, well, is that good? And he's like, well, yeah, yeah, it's good. We want to put it on our panel. I'm like, well, what's a panel, you know? And he explained about the CDSA and I'm like, well, sure, you just go right ahead, put it on there. I don't care. He goes, well, what do you call it? And I said, well, I call it bio radiance. And he's like, that sounds too new age, call it something else. So, you know, I thought about it and then the next day I called it back and I'm like, well, how about biocide? And it sounds like it's killing something. He's like, perfect. So, that's how biocidin was born. And so then like 30,000 doctors a month were hearing about this on this test. And they did over 250,000 patient tests over a six year period. And it was the most highly sensitive agent every single time on every single yeast and bacteria. And, and so many doctors were like, well, why should we use these antifungal and antibiotic things if there's an alternative that's natural, that's non-toxic, that doesn't wipe out your good flora. So that's how biocidin kind of got its claim to fame. 